Okay, so this is sandbar shark, okay, and it's often difficult to tell these guys from the, the dusky shark. So here's the primary differences. Number one, sandbar shark has a tall dorsal fin, wide, tall. It's also like located further forward on the animal than on the dusky shark. Here, if we drew the line straight down, it would hit the pec fin. On the dusky shark, the fin would be back here if you draw the line straight down and it won't hit the pec fin. Also, this, like the dusky shark, it is a ridge-back shark, which means it, has, it does have the intradorsal ridge between the two dorsal, dorsal fins, which is one way to distinguish it from a black tip shark or a spinner shark, which would not have this ridge. Now, unlike the dusky shark, the sandbar does not have the slime layer on it. Also, the denticles that lay that make up its skin are not as sharp as they are on the dusky. So, while he is coarse when you rub him this way, it's not quite as coarse and bitey on your hands. Now, if you notice also, he's more of an overall gray color than the dusky is a bit browner than that, although you cannot always go by the uh, color to identify a shark. Other than that, they're pretty much a generic shark. They don't have the black tips. They have a little bit of black coloring sometimes under their fins here, but not anything that you can identify them with. But they're, they're, they can grow to about maybe 300 pounds, about 8 feet, although you catch a lot of them, particularly in the fall, they're just little guys like this after they're coming out of the nursery ground. So this girl is all tagged and ready for release, so that's the average sandbar shark.